Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Come, come, come. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. For class 6, welcome on board for a class uh, 6 le science lesson. And I want to take you through I want to take you through what you call HIV, stroke AIDS in health education class six. And in class five you looked at one the causes of HIV, two the preventive measures of HIV, and in class six we are we also looked at a slight trait on the HIV stages. And in class six we are also going to learn more on the same. And I want to start with what you call HIV stages, HIV, stroke, AIDS, stages, stages. We have four stages. HIV is a virus, and once it gets into the human body, it destroys very important cells known as the white blood cells. So HIV is a virus. HIV is a virus. A virus that destroys that destroy the white blood cells, the white blood cells, the white blood cells, and white blood cells are very important because they prevent our bodies or they prevent our body from other infections. And once our immune system has been affected or when the white blood cells have been destroyed, all other diseases stream into the body without any attack by any cell in the body. And therefore, you can have many diseases at the same time. And that's why the virus is said to be dangerous. In the first four stages, stage number one, we call it the widow stage. The widow stage where this is the period when the, the this is the period between the entry of the virus until uh, um, up to when it is first recognized by the white blood cells in the body. At this period, this period is the most infectious. Most infectious. Why? Medical tests cannot show presence. Most of the time the medical test used does not show the signs and the symptoms of the disease or the presence of the HIV virus. It, last, it mostly lasts for three weeks or one month. The next stage is what we call the incubation, incubation or the asymptomatic stage, the asymptomatic stage. Asymptomatic stage, the asymptomatic Asymptomatic stage, the incubation of the asymptomatic stage. This stage, one test positive, you test positive, test positive, but no signs, no signs. The body, but what, what does it mean by the word test positive? This is when the body. The, the, the body starts producing, the white blood cells produce a certain chemical we call the antibody. And it was only produced at the second stage as a chemical to fight the virus. And that's what the doctor, the, 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 they test whether the body has produced. When the, the body has produced that antibody, we say your body is positive. This is the first time the body produces that antibody. So, production of antibodies. Production of antibodies. Production of antibodies mean that the body is reacting positively towards production. That's why we say the person is HIV positive. Then we have the symptomatic, the symptomatic or the showing stage. Or the showing stage. This is where you not only test positive but the, the positive, the, the, you test positive, the body has antibodies. Number two, you show some signs. When you see signs have developed, 
That's why I'm saying it is the showing state or the symptomatic state. We say that AIDS has developed. AIDS are signs and symptoms of other opportunistic diseases. So AIDS develops. And that's why we, we say that you can have HIV and not have AIDS. AIDS is in all the stages because of virus. But AIDS develops on the third stage and AIDS in the third, fourth stage. So AIDS develops. When I say AIDS develops, I'm meaning signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms. Then we go to, you also test positive. The patient tests positive because the body is producing antibodies. And the last stage is the full, full bloom. This is where the immune system is completely destroyed. We have when someone, what type of test do we offer? We offer a test known as, so the test process, testing process, the testing process. We, the, we, the in a VCT center, center, people are tested through a, a process known as the ERISA test. The test used is known as the ERISA test. And the ERISA test is the one that tests not the number of viruses in the body, but how have the body produced antibodies? That's what they test in the ERISA test. In now in the ERISA test process, when you get to that process, they start by what you call the pre-test. Pre-test cancelling. Pre-test cancelling. Pre-test cancelling means cancelling before test. Pre means before. So they start the, they start the cancelling before test. The, here you are made aware of other, because most people are likely to be cocooned in one idea that HIV can only be maybe transmitted through sexual intercourse, but this at this counseling you are taken through other stages so that you can also get get develop the feeling that there are chances you can have it. So before that, then from there, after the pre-test counseling, they take now the test, the ELISA test. And before the results are released, they also prepare you on how to live a positive life in case you are positive. And they cancel you once more. You develop what you call post, post, post test counseling. Post test counseling. This is the, you are canceled. In case you find yourself positive, what are you going to do to ensure that you take well balanced diet, ETC. Then from there, you, they give the results. That is the HIV test. Now they, we have what we call the effects. We have what we call the effects of HIV. And we're going to look at effects of HIV to one to an individual, to a nation, and to a family. One, what happens to an individual when they realize they are, they are HIV positive? What, what develops in them? What, how do they feel? How, what happens? Number one, they develop what we call stigma. Stigma is what we call low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. They don't believe in themselves. Number two, there is poor performance. Poor performance. Poor performance either in school or at place of work. Why? Because most of the time they they are sick, they are sick of AIDS, opportunistic diseases in the two stages. So they will have to work for in school and place of work. The other one is they are sick most of the time. Sick most of the time. Most of the time. Number three, loss of income. Most loss of income. Much of the money is spent on drugs. And now I would wish to mention effects to the nation, effects to the nation, very fast. One, one effect to the nation is poor economy. Our country will lose a lot of money. For example, if our country was to lose all the experts, all the experts, the doctors, the teachers, the engineers, they have spent a lot of money training. Yeah, for the moment we lose, then we have to hire others. So our, from outside the world, and that one will force us to have a poor economy. Number two is low agricultural production. Low agricultural pro 
production, what I mean by this, the energetic people are affected. Therefore, they can no longer produce enough food. Number three is what we call poor health services. Poor, poor health services or poor medical care. Poor health services because there will be congestion in hospitals. Therefore, people will not get enough drugs. A hospital is accommodated to accommodate 100, accommodates 200. One, they are receiving poor services because they are sharing the bed, they are also doing enough medicine. That's what I'm saying, poor health services. Number, number three, there is increased school dropout. Increased school dropout. The pupils and the teachers will drop out of school the moment they are sick. Otherwise, have a good evening effects to the family, are mainly being ashamed and loss of family income. Thank you.